Hey everyone, what's up? It's Improvo here. Alright, so just a quick update real quick. <laughs> I did it again. I said the same thing last time. Crap. Anyway, um, I now have the trees integrated properly. Uh, it's no longer a part of the, uh, the tree plugin thingy. So if you are using the tree plugin and you're waiting for the season update, don't worry. Because it is here, but it is in the form of this entire package. So if I open up this and I do season 2, you can see it's now... Uh, well, it's fall-ish, and three is like winter and stuff like that. Uh, zero and one are the default. Uh, the only difference is between zero and one, like, the it sprite little bit changes. Uh, I don't really have anything, like, special set up for that. Now, if I go... Oh my gosh. We can actually change the global wind speed, just like we could before. Um, you can make it extremely strong, as you can see, and the grass blows around kind of cool-like. But yeah, you can go um, between the trees and everything just like you could with the uh, other one, only it's a lot easier to manage. And yeah, you can could, you could still squish uh, flowers and stuff while they're being blown in the wind. You can see they shrink a little bit here. We'll squash that one down. See, it's not like flat and squashed. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um... You can let's just go like back to the default. Let's just do like somewhere around like twelve. Make it a little bit breezy, but not uh not like crazy breezy. Yeah, this is looking promising. Um as you can see the cloud overlay looks a little bit better too, but that's nothing really new. That's just me changing the graphic. But yeah, pretty awesome. Um everything stays right where it was when you enter and leave a map or if you uh enter and leave your menu and all that stuff. The flowers, everything is in exact position of where it was uh, when you left off. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't have the seasons affecting the grass or anything like that yet, but that that's probably going to come soon as well. Um, yeah. Till then, I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so very much for watching. And peace out and have a good night. I was going to release, by the way, before I go, I was going to release the alpha uh, today, but... I ended up not releasing it. I'm not quite ready to release the alpha. Uh, there are a couple things that I would like to do uh, before releasing the alpha and stuff like that. But other than that, though, this is looking very promising. We're making a lot of progress. The path generation obviously works now, so you don't have to you don't have to do like parallaxing. All of that was on this empty map. So just imagine what you can do with like custom graphics. Uh, tw path 24 is this is like the path, so. Uh, if I do something like this, uh, and we, like, redo it, we reload, I mean. And, yes, I'm watching, uh, what's his name? <laughs> oh, yeah, Jordan reacts. Yeah, so, see, now we have, like, a branching path that goes off behind the tree here. And, um, this is super, super cool if you plan on making, uh, you know, anything, like, that looks parallaxed, but isn't. And it, the path generation will actually be different every time you load the game. Not every time you load the, um, the save file or reload the map or whatever. Every time the game itself is closed and relaunched, a new path is generated. But it's in the same general uh, area. So is the grass and the trees. So it's pretty awesome. Um, it makes sure that kind of nothing is really ever the same. No two tiles are the same, that kind of deal. Uh, and I also have like these little rock generation things. But I'm working on these. I'm... Uh, talking with somebody about making sprites and stuff. It's been pretty cool. Yeah, this turned out to be a little bit longer of a um, video than I anticipated. But yeah, we got everything working. It's freaking sweet. Uh, the trees no longer block your path unless you want them to, of course, you know, by placing down, I don't know, events or just some kind of tile that blocks your character. But yeah, it's freaking awesome. Um, and the reason it's not blocking your character is because now you can go around the tree instead of having to, like, go through it. Uh, you can go around it and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. And Borkster over there, uh, if he walks over to some grass, you can see uh, when he steps in the grass. Good boy. <laughs> Come on, step down. No, not not right. Down. No, go back. Doggo. Anyway, yeah, he squashes the flowers as well. So everything that's an event will uh, squash the vegetation. Uh, but the trees obviously cannot be squashed. Cause, yeah. Now go down. Uh, I'll give you a Scooby snack. Good boy. Now go right. Yeah! See, he's squishing the flowers. 
but yeah, uh, it's pretty awesome. I'm really proud of this, and I really can't wait for everyone to start using this because yeah, it's gonna be freaking sweet. All right, but yeah. Uh, when I do release the alpha, I'll release a full tutorial as well. Or I'll probably, like, have the tutorial in the dang uh, release to begin with. Alright, see you guys.